welcome to this YouTube video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're back or if you're new, hello. Um, finally, I'm doing an updated makeup tutorial on this look. It's my most requested video always that you guys want to see. I've been doing this look for a while now. It actually has changed a lot since probably the last time I filmed um, my makeup tutorial, but refined it. It's a bit more natural than what I used to do. Let's just jump straight into the makeup. Enjoy. Hi guys. Oh my God. I'm always so dramatic when I start a YouTube video, like I get really nervous and I don't like know how to act or what to say, but hello. Before we even start, this kills me, like this literally kills me. I have no nail polish remover and I have no nail polish to paint over this. They painted my nails this weird pink red colour on a shoot the other week and I'm yet to take it off. It's really not a brand for me, like I don't like it. I don't like that it's chipped and my whole, we're going to be doing a lot of this, so we're just going to ignore that. This has been one of my most requested videos for the past few months or longer. I have not done an updated makeup tutorial in so, so long. So I'm just getting ready to go to lunch with a friend right now. So I thought I am not going to be lazy. I'm going to set up my camera and I'm going to show you guys what I do, what I use. So I've been consistently doing this look for quite a while now so the thing with having bangs is I can just it's like I never know how to clip up my hair to get them off my face starting out with the YSL blur primer I love this stuff I don't normally use a primer like always seeing as we're coming into winter now here I'll always put a moisturizer on first so I have like a really light one on my skin always put on a moisturizer first this I guess I just like I have it so I use it but it makes my skin feel nice and silky but I definitely think it helps with putting on the foundation it goes on nice and smooth let's talk foundation just real quick lately I've been using this YSL foundation I got these um, sent to me after a YSL event and I really love this and I love mixing any of my foundation that I'm using with the drunk elephant anti-pollution drops bronzing drops this gives my skin such a nice glow like as you can see i'm pretty much out of this and it's lasted me for ages like i love this stuff if you want like a nice little glow to the face so i'm loving this foundation at the moment but my holy holy grail is the pat mcgrath foundation and i've just run out so i am loving but pat mcgrath one is definitely my fave um so i just put a little bit and then i just put one like half pump kind of of the drunk elephant and I get my brush mix them together and then I just pat it on in I just can't right now my hair is gonna have to be clipped up like this I know I'm cutting off my head right now but like <laughs> I'm not gonna sit like that the other foundation I've been trying out as well is this Dior foundation that I've been really liking too. I don't know. Dior Backstage foundation. Also really good. Okay, next up concealer. This is my favorite, favorite at the moment. It's the Pat McGrath concealer. She really can do no wrong. I just do the classic. I put this under my eyes. And I use this uh, Sephora brush, multitasker brush, because it's just a bit more, it's a bit smaller and a bit more precise. Like, I'm very aggressive when I do my makeup. Like, as you can see, I just try and like lightly, like, I go like that so that it pushes the product in and I'm not like swiping it around. Now, if you can tell, hopefully you'll be able to see, but look how amazing. Like, it just like brightens so nicely and also adds quite a nice extra bit of coverage after concealer always do my brows this is my favorite brow product i've been using it i think literally since it came out it is the benefit goof proof brow pencil in the shade number four i don't really do to anything like too crazy i just kind of brush them up i mainly just kind of focus on filling in the tail i like to drag it down a bit to kind of just elongate the brow and then i'll just like lightly tap under there so the line's nice and even and then go up a little 
Like, as you can see, my brows <laughs> don't really need anything excessive done to them. I just do that and then I brush the product through. My eyes, I keep it really, really, really simple for my eyes. Nothing crazy. Just this, this, this Becca um, bronzer in sunlit bronzer. Just looks like this. Such a nice warm brown tone. My favorite, I've had this brush for years and years. It's a MAC 224 blending brush. It's my favorite blending brush in the world. A little bit and then I put it through the crease. Like for everyday makeup, I either do this with just like a lot of mascara or I do this with my winged liner. Like I truly just keep it simple. Like you can also just do it quick and it doesn't matter if it's like not perfect. From here, what I'll do is do a little winged eyeliner. I use the Benefit Roller Liner, eyeliner, liquid liner. This is a little baby mini one. It's so good. I love this stuff. I've changed a bit. I don't do my eyeliner anywhere near as thick anymore. I don't do it as brown under my eyes. I keep it quite just fluttery and a bit more simple. It's kind of hard doing it with my mirror so far away, but... As I said lately, I've just been liking a really nice thin line. And it just looks like that. Sometimes I like to do um, a little like fox eye look and drag it in, but only if I've kind of got like an event or something on and I want to look extra sultry. I'm gonna go off camera to do the other side. Okie dokie, we did it, they're cute. So yeah, I used to do like a really thick, like right across kind of eyeliner and like lots of brown underneath my eyes, but I've just been loving this softer look lately. I feel like it's definitely more in trend right now. Everyone's kind of doing like nice elongated eyes. I'm so weird with my order of how I do makeup. I just kind of go back and forth. I'm using the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer in medium. I prefer to use the MAC Give Me Sun um, face powder as my bronzer, but I've run out, so this is what I have. I got this in like a PR package. It's not bad. It's not my favorite, but it does the job. And then this is a Mecha Max blush brush that I'm using as a bronzer brush. But I just kind of, I put on heaps of bronzer, like watch me honestly do a few layers. I use this one to start just giving a little bit of sculpt to my cheekbones. It's actually a pretty nice bronzer, like I've kept using it thus far. I always do some under my jawline to give it a little bit of definition. And then just a bit on my forehead. So that is layer number one. <laughs> and then I go in with this Zoeva cream, like cheek angled brush. And I kind of want to carve out my cheekbones a little bit more and just up the bronziness too. Um, tuck the hair for a minute. So it's the same, I'm using that same Becca bronzer and I just, Tap a little and then I'm gonna really go in. So, I forgot brows. 24 hour brow setup by Benefit. I love this stuff. I love to push my brows up. So I put the brow setter in and then I get my spoolie and just kind of shape it to how I want it to be. Now for my favorite part where I feel like it all starts to come together. This is the Mecca Max blush stick in the shade Moody. I have about three of these. I go through them really quick. I have one like in my handbag, one in my bathroom, one in my makeup bag. So I always start, I put it on my lips. It's like the most perfect lip shape. Put some on my nose, actually not even some. I put a fucking lot on my nose and on my cheeks. Like, I love blush. 
and once we look a bit crazy. I just like to use my finger to just pat it into my nose because I want it to be, like I feel like blush comes off my face so easily. So I want it to be quite predominant and then just pat it a little like see it, it fades in so quickly. And then I'm using the Sephora blush brush. I love this brush, it's like nice and soft and angled. Just pat it in. The brush definitely diffuses the color more, so if you want it more pigmented, I would just use your fingers. I'm just lazy. And as I said, because I love blush, I go in on top to set it with a powder. I use the um, Mina blush in the shade 103. It just says the blush. Maybe it's called the blush. It's just this color. Honestly, I don't hold back. I put on a lot, but you kind of can with this color. It's not too intense and it truly just sinks into my face. Honestly, my two favorite steps is blush and this is what makes everything go va va boom. Um, this is my favorite mascara in the world, Marc Jacobs mascara. And we are just gonna go in on the lashes. This stuff just makes my lashes look huge. My trick with eyelashes and getting a really sultry look is I will blink through and then I pull them over to the side a bit. Like sometimes I'll go like fully cat eye them, like sweep them over. Or I don't know, today I might do them up first and we'll see. But if you want like a sexy cat eye look, then I would suggest like you pull them over to the side a little bit. It just like shapes them. Gotta be patient, I feel like, with this process. Like you like I put in so many layers of mascara and like kind of go between like brushing through like that and then sweeping them. Like I've definitely found a process that just helps mine look super big. And then on the bottom, lately I haven't really been doing much at all. I put the tiniest little bit in. And when I put it in, I'm sweeping these bottom lashes over to the side to give the eye like a that look. If I'm really feeling it and I want to add a little bit more, which I will take you guys to show you. This is the MAC Brown Eyeliner Pencil in Brown Border. And I used to go ham. I used to like put this under my eyes heaps and like smudge it all out. Now I literally do the lightest, tiniest little baby bit. I barely even push the product down. I just very, very lightly go on like halfway of my waterline. Like the tiniest bit, but you'll notice it still just kind of adds such a nice like to the eye. See, sometimes less is more. I've learned that over the years. There we go, that is my, that is my eyes all done. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, once that's all done, my finishing touch. I'm using this KVD brush, little tapered brush. And my favorite highlighter at the moment, it is this Marc Jacobs highlighter um, in Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. This is just simply amazing. So I tap it, I get a little bit and dust it over the tip of my nose. It just makes everything amazing. And a little bit down the bridge. And then I just really, really, really lightly put some here. I don't want it to look too hectic. I just think a little bit of highlighter can go a long way. And then same on this side. Ew, I hate putting highlighter when I have a pimple on my face. Like I hate putting it over it. It just feels really wrong. But I think the trick with this is just lightly dusting with the brush and getting the right kind of brush, like a really soft bristled angled brush. And that is the face, that is what I do. Oh, lipstick, oh my God, how could I forget? This is the one thing that you guys ask me the most is what is my lip combo and you're about to see. I'm gonna run you through the four of my favorite products at the moment. It always alternates. I have like 50 million different lip products in, in like all my bags. But for lip liners, these are the two that I've had and used the longest, both from MAC. First one is called Saw, second one is called Auburn. This one is a much, much deeper red. Put this one on first, or I'll show you guys a bit of both because I feel like 
more people would probably use saw. It's like a lighter color, see the difference? But I like a really plummy lip. I don't know when this formed or when I started doing this, but so I'll go like this. normally overline a lot I just kind of go a little bit under look how much bigger this it, this color makes your lips look I'll show you I'll just go a little bit around with um with Auburn so you can see it as well so that's with both of them on I don't always do both I just depending on which one I grab first and then I go in with the KBD um, lip gloss in Brilliant. It's like a very pigmented lip gloss. I love it. And it smells so good. It just gives like a really nice kind of pigmented glossy look. But it honestly feels like more like a lipstick. And then finally, my favorite lip gloss, lip oil situation is this Clarins lip oil in Red Berry. It kind of helps to like diffuse everything together and also feels amazing on my lips and smells amazing. So it makes everything look really glossy and plump. And at the end, I'll always add either a bit of my lipstick that I put on or a bit more of the blush over my nose. There we have it. That is my go-to makeup look. All honestly that I would change sometimes is if I'm feeling funky, I'll dot on some freckles. If I'm going out, I will put black in my waterline. And aside from that, it really doesn't change much. Or if I'm going out, I might maybe put some like shimmer on my lids. Like this is pretty much what I do day to day, or not every day, like I don't wear makeup every day and most days if I'm just running errands it will be like a very diffused version of this with no winged eyeliner, so yeah. I hope you all enjoy. I really miss doing this. <gasps> just breaking things. I'm sorry this took so long but I told you I promised it would come once I was like in my new place and kind of set up. I'm still not set up, like this is not, It's we're not even nearly there yet. I'm waiting for my desk to come, my outdoor area, setting tables and stuff to come, my new bed frame, I'm getting new artwork to put there, like, it's all changing, but, um, I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I can't wait to post some more videos soon. I love you lots, and I'll see you next time.